and maybe like best ofs or, or you know high profile packages on individual stars or you know it could be anything like that but it's definitely not going to be like a so it's not going to be like a new smackdown or something like that for TNA it's just you know yeah not a not a brand new show or anything the like, Dixie Carter is uh, actually talking to the media what is it Wednesday she's going to be doing like a bunch of interviews with the uh, the print media and the website internet media that covers that covers wrestling so she's going to talk about the new deal and all the specifics so we'll probably find out more about the uh is it ten hours of original programming, one hour show, so it's ten one hour specials or something? We'll find out more about yeah, that. Yeah, I I believe so. I believe so. Yeah, like you said, she's gonna do um some major media tomorrow. Um it is. So we'll have some uh be sure to have some interview recaps from, from major media outlets uh up on the website tomorrow with her. Um what else? What else? I mean we gotta get into SummerSlam and Raw and, and UFC, We should get SummerSlam out of the way before we try and do any news or anything, because a lot of the news comes out of SummerSlam or leading into Raw or coming out of Raw. So. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Let's do it. Would you? Uh, how was the weekend, Matty Boone? I know I wasn't supposed to ask that, but well, how was I mean, the weekend? You know how my weekend. I had an amazing Friday, which got me nice and motivated for Saturday's work and everything like that. And uh, after that, it was just a whole lot of fucking work, man, all weekend. Uh, uh, we had the traffic number or the record traffic, so I, I really did everything possible that I could possibly do, and um, I think it worked out real well. I'm I'm I'm, I'm the, the the golden goose with the golden eggs or whatever of the company right now. So it's, it's good to be me right now. On all yeah, of baby, pay raise in the works or what? Pay raise, <laughs> oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt. We uh, MMA news much, by the way, MMA news dot com. We're about to launch that whole new thing we've been working on, and it's, probably within a month we'll have that bad boy online. My God, is that going to be a? That's going to be a tank, man. You've seen it. It's it's a it's a beast. Hey, well, here the the deal is is it's going to be a tank, and it looks amazing. I mean, I mean that website is is. Freaking ridiculous! Got know, anything you can that. think of? In it, it's the most interactive the, website you'll ever see. I mean, it's it's as thorough as MySpace or any of those places. I mean, it's it's you know it's crazy. Yeah. The problem is, is you're a you're a one man wrecking machine over there, and uh, you've got your work cut out. For I'm, you, confident, you know what I'm confident. Confident. <laughs> if I get paid right, I can handle it, man. I mean, uh, I'm not new to the game here. Neither are you. I mean, we've been around. 11 years as far as work, 8 for the radio, but I mean, oh yeah, 11 years, I mean, and, and you know me, I don't want to sit here and, and say that I'm better than you, but I'm more, you're more of a news reporter guy, I'm more of the webmaster guy, we're doing the work right. behind the scenes is kind of my thing, your thing is being a good writer and, and following and tracking down the stories and everything and staying on top of that, but yeah, I, I'm ready, I, I know it's a lot of work, but I'm ready for it, I'm actually excited about it. Maybe a pay raise over there too, right? Oh, well, that's, that that one's guaranteed. And on the other yeah, side, I, I yeah. demand one over there, man. I was, oh, geez, you you know the difference. It's gonna be a it, it's night and day. Wait a little, I can't wait till the, till the thing hits the internet. I can get the feedback from people because it is quite a change. It will uh it'll put that SharedDog.com website to uh to shame. I mean, yeah, you said it. I didn't say because I technically I work know. with I technically work with SharedDog on the other side of the of the fence there with the other companies. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm yeah, all I know, up in the, I'm but right in the middle of the, the line of fire from both sides. I'm right in the middle working for both of them, and and they accept it. It's crazy. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I've seen it. I've seen the uh, the new MMAnews.com, and man, oh Please. man, if you guys are a uh, if you're a fan of that website. You're in store for a uh, major shock. Well, you know the owner. I mean, we we hung out with him in Vegas and, and in Hollywood, Florida, too, before that. And he doesn't screw around, man. I mean, the dude's a big baller with a, with deep pockets, and he, he's ready. He's ready to take a run at uh, some of the top MMA websites out there. And he thinks he's, he thinks he can do it the same way he did it with uh, wrestling. Well, you guys are already one of the. Uh, you guys are one of the probably the top top three, top five as far as traffic. But uh, we're looking right. at content and and everything like that, and features and and coverage and. Yeah, we're 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 coming after everybody now. Yeah, it's uh it's pretty crazy. So uh so get ready ready for that. MMA news dot com here and there. What are you guys gonna launch that next week or two? Well we got we get the final beta to screw around with at the end of this week and then after that we'll we'll tell them the changes we want and then, then it goes live. So yeah, within right. within two or three weeks probably. Right, right. I uh I didn't do much over the uh over the weekend. I uh no more horse betting? Are you done losing money or what? Well, there's only God, what is it? A week and a half left of the, really? uh, of the racetrack. Yeah, yeah, that cool. stuff goes by so quick, yeah, dude. I know it's, it only lasts for six weeks. You know what I mean? But I'm thinking about uh, the humidity up here and the and the heat is gone. It's not that 90 degrees that we've been dealing with. So I'm thinking about going up. It's supposed to be uh, 
nice later this week. So maybe Thursday or Friday I was going to go up there. One last time, Uh-oh. lose a little bit of money. On, uh, I haven't won at all. I mean, I walked out of there a few times even, but uh, as a whole, I've uh, I've lost money. So maybe I'll go one more time and see what yeah, I was having, like, Beavis and Butthead flashbacks. I almost said, you said whole, <laughs> but <laughs> I decided not to. I opted against it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, what was it, Saturday night, did you see the uh, the diaz Malinaji fight? No, you no, didn't. No, I missed. I saw the undercard. I mean, I saw Ishe Smith and, um, and uh, what the hell was that guy's name? Why uh, I, can't rem- I can't remember the undercard. The other guy was the name, too. And then I saw the Robert Guerrero fight after that. But, uh, yeah, I saw the entrances from Malinaji and uh, Diaz, and I saw the first two rounds, and I just I stopped watching because I was getting bored, but. Dude, one judge, I mean, there was, um, I know people don't want to hear about boxing. I had a lot of people over for a, uh, for a boxing, it wasn't even a pay-per-view, it was just uh, regular HBO, but I had a bunch of people here on uh, Saturday night, and uh, basically what happened is there were two judges from Texas, and uh, the other judge was from New York, and one judge had it 118. And Wine Diaz is from Texas, by the way, so. Right, right. One judge had it 118, 110 for Diaz, which was just ridiculous. I mean, which means he would have won, fight. what, eight out of the 12 rounds? Or uh, dude, it was, I mean, it was a close fight. At the end of that fight, I thought, uh, I thought Diaz had won the fight, but not nearly. I mean, 118, 110 was just, was crazy. And then after the fight, now an on the or... Yeah, all the rounds were close. Well, that, you I mean, can't was, really, I mean, I didn't say, see it, so I don't argue. But I mean, if the rounds were close, it's kind of hard to say if it was because you could have any numbers. If the rounds are close, you could just be giving the rounds to Diaz instead of Malinaji if if they're close enough. You know what I mean? So right, right. Up. That's true. That's true. But I mean, one eight. I mean, come on. They were in Texas, and that one judge was from. Texas. I know. That, yeah, I, I, heard, I saw the interview right before the fight with Malinaji, and he was actually worried. I guess his camp protested the judges. They protested the ref. They right, protested right. this and that, and he even said he, he thinks he's getting screwed over tonight. It was almost like a wrestling match, like it was oh, dude, almost like it was set up, you know, because then you said it happened. Like, exactly like the, what they were worried about is exactly what happened. Which Oh, dude, and then, uh, and then Kellerman, Max Kellerman, um, was doing the post-fight interview, and Malinazzi was like, this is horse shit, this is bullshit, da 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 Boxing is garbage, boxing is trash, this shit is fixed, fixed yeah. da 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 I mean, he went on and on and on and on. So it made for a... Uh, that sucks, man, that you watched the uh, the undercard, undercard fights and then uh, tuned out for the main event because that was where it was at during that. Cause I wanted the fight to, was I mean, good or was, it, was the fight good? Because I watched the first two rounds and it was boring as hell. I mean, <laughs> Mal- it wasn't, dude, it wasn't stellar. You know, I Mal- mean, Mal- Mal- is known for running away. Like, he just likes to run and be goofy and have weird haircuts and, you know. It was, I mean, it was a showman. good fight. It, was, it wasn't anything. I mean, I... You should go out of your way to see it just so that, you know, when it's all said and done, I mean, it wasn't anything. There was no knockdowns or anything like that throughout the whole fight. But, I mean, at the end of that fight, you were just like, wow, this is a close fight. You know what I mean? And then the one well, Probably, one. just without seeing it, Juan Diaz was throwing a bunch of hard punches because he's a, he's a knockout kind of guy. Mel Nagy was running around trying to pick his shots, and probably he would get flurried on from Diaz every once in a while and then run away and, and pick right. his shots. and. It's probably that kind of fight for 12 rounds, which uh, after two long fights before that, I was just, I had enough boxing, you know, at that point. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, we got a bunch of people over here. It wasn't like a big, big main event. I mean, those names aren't really important. They both coming off losses. Mal and Aggie, who who is this to? Miguel Cotto? No, Miguel Cotto and then somebody else. I know Diaz Uh just got knocked out by um, Juan Mel Marquez, who's going to be fighting Mayweather. I know that. Yeah, we, uh, I drank a lot of beers. On uh, on Friday, I just remember that one EP and one ten, and uh, and that was it. But we'll uh, I'll tell you what, we'll talk more about boxing because uh, there's some good boxing coming up uh, in September. I I think September they've got that middleweight tournament, and then we've got uh, I can't wait for God, that. We've got, oh man, we've got uh, Pacquiao, Cotto, Mayweather, Marquez. Pacquiao Cotto is confirmed for September. Yeah, that's no not September, not for September. That's uh, oh. a couple months later. But uh, it is, though? I mean, it's definitely confirmed. Wow. Cotto and, uh, Cotto and Pacquiao, yeah. So that'll be, uh, well, I'll tell you what, we'll talk about that later. Damn, that's um, we'll going to make Pacquiao to... Mayweather, that's going to be, if, if they both I win. Know. Well, well huge, may... I mean, God, right. Pacquiao will be coming off a win over Cotto. Mayweather will be coming off one off Marquez, and then they'll do Pacquiao. That'll be huge. But Yeah, boxing's got uh, Klitschko and uh, Areola as well as uh, uh. But, uh 
All right, we'll talk about boxing a little bit later here in uh, hour number two when we uh, run down UFC 102, which is this Saturday night on pay-per-view, two UFC pay-per-views. Fort Lauderdale. Huh? Yeah, yeah, this is uh, the second one in the same month. You're right. I, I forgot about that. But no, they're no. in Portland, Oregon for the first time, which is Randy Couture's, well, I guess you call it birthplace. He's not really from there anymore. He's from Vegas now, but he'll he'll, he'll be the hometown guy there. So it should be an exciting crowd, too. No doubt, no doubt. Hey, did you uh, hear that Kurt Angle interview that uh, we Oh, yeah, on the, before before the show, Bubba, Bubba the Love Sponge. I gave that to yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, you did. That was uh, that was some juicy stuff right there, man. Kurt uh, speaking his mind about uh, about Rocket Con. The problem with that. She outworked you, kid. She outworked you, kid. She dropped you clean in the middle, kid. <laughs> uh, Bubba's awesome, man. Awesome. Yeah, Bill Bubba was crazy. I, I've only seen him a few times on Howard Stern, but I can't get into his show because it's hard to follow two four-hour daily shows. That you know. Right, right, and then you told me what a couple of weeks back that he's got what's he got like three shows that he does two, in one two day. Two shows. He he does he does a serious show, and he does a local uh, Florida show. Which I don't know if it's local. He's got a couple affiliates, but yeah, he he's got an FM show and a serious show. He does two a day, so that's that's insane. The problem with the angle is, you know, I listened to that for the second time tonight before we went live, and uh, you know, the guy just. I mean, I know it was early in the morning, but I mean, words were were slurred like you wouldn't believe. You know, and his I story, man, he's got an impressive know. story. He's, he's, got, he's a, got. I guess it's gonna. It's all gonna have to pan itself out in court whether whether he gets off. I don't know what to believe. I mean, come on. That's he, a great he, story, he, though. I mean, he's got almost every front covered with that story, and it, it sounds believable. I, it makes sense, and. Oh, man, that story's interesting. That, that's a crazy yeah. thing going on over there. Well, it'll be interesting to see, like I said, what happens What happens in the court. I mean, we've heard Kurt Angle interviews where, I mean, he's been caught in, in how many lies? You know yeah. what I mean? So as far oh, as... Oh, I'm not saying it's true. I'm just saying it's an amazing story. It's 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 perfect. Yeah, no doubt. So hopefully you guys uh, were able to hear that. I know we had a bunch of people... Uh, listening live for that before we went uh Yeah, they seem to dig that better than the music before the show because I guess yeah. you have bad taste in music or something. Well, the music sucks. I mean, That's uh, right. it doesn't uh, come through good. Yeah. Yeah, the quality of the uh the music sucks. So All right, so that's uh that's the opening plugs. We're a half hour in. We haven't <laughs> talked SummerSlam and Raw yet. So uh <laughs> let's move along. Let's um I guess we got to run down SummerSlam first um from Sunday night and then we'll move on to Monday Night Raw. And like I said, hour number two, we're going to take your live phone calls and uh, do chat shout-outs as well, wzronline.com forward slash chat to get into the live chat room. All right, SummerSlam, Matty Boone from Sunday night. What you, uh, would you think overall, show as a whole, school at a grade? Overall, I would say there was enough real good stuff on it that the bad stuff can't drag it down too far. I would say it was probably a, probably a B minus. It was a good show, I thought. It was a decent show. I was, uh, I was going to say a B, so we're uh, we're pretty much on the uh, on the same yeah. level. The three matches, um, we'll run them down one by one here um, in just a second. But the three matches that really stood out was uh, was the opener with uh, Mysterio and Dolph Ziggler. You're not going to talk about the intro with the DX and, and Dave well, intro. Well, I'm just, I mean, the three matches that really impressed me. We're going to run it down. Um, as oh, a you're just general. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, Mysterio and uh, Dolph Ziggler was uh, match was of the night the probably. Probably well, TLC too. Yeah, that was definitely oh, yeah. one of the matches of the night. Up at, yeah, that was a great match. Yeah, I, I haven't uh, seen much of Dolph Ziggler. You always you put him over big. I've never really seen him much. He, I don't know why he yells so damn much. That gets on, uh, that's annoying, but he, it was yeah. a good ass match. Yeah. Yeah, I mean they tore the house down, and then we had uh, DX versus the Legacy was uh, was another one that really impressed me, and then of course the, uh, the that was a good match. I think I, I think that match is getting overlooked. Uh, you said you thought it was good, just not as good as I thought it was. But I remember telling you when it was over, I was like, that was really good. They, they did. They, I thought I was so so worried it was going to be like DX and Spirit Squad, and they were just going to squash the hell out of the Legacy. But they really gave they let them shine, man. And, and the match was good. The crowd got into it, and they, they they had a bunch of you know cool stuff set up for the finish there. And I thought it was a great right. match. Right, and then of course we had uh, TLC to uh, to end things with uh, Jeff Hardy, crazy mofo. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's going out with a bang, man. I mean that was an amazing match, and now an amazing. Yeah. Because it, there were so many times where, where they would do something, and you're like, God, that, Jesus, that guy, that has to hurt, man. They're, they're, 